Hi everyone, I'm making a DIY eye cream and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make with a few simple ingredients. This one, it's nice and um, emollient. Just put a little bit under your eye. I'll also show you how I apply it. This has sunscreen in it, so it's lovely. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's very nice. Obviously, I should use it on my hands <laughs> with all the freckles and whatever else dry I have going on. So I'm gonna show you how I make it, show you how I apply it, and I think you'll like it. It's great for saving money and great for your eyes. And here we have the ingredients. So I got this little jar actually from Whole Foods. They gave it to me. And I always clean it out with rubbing alcohol first. I'm using a popsicle stick to mix and I have a couple measuring spoons. Then I have some shea butter and some vitamin E cream, or you can use your own moisturizer. I almost, you're using a sunscreen from Paula's Choice. And I'm also using rosehip seed oil. This is great for hydrating and as vitamin A for smoother skin. It's great for sensitive skin. So I'm starting with one teaspoon of shea butter. And the shea butter is soft-ish, but kind of dense. And I'm going to put the teaspoon into the measuring cup and you can see I'm going to microwave it. And now um, I'm going to let it cool for five to 10 minutes and set it aside. So then I'm going to start with the vitamin E cream and I'm going to use um, one teaspoon of this and put it into the little jar. and scrape it out with the popsicle stick. The second thing is the sunscreen. I like one that has a titanium dioxide as a UVA blocker. That's why I like Paula's Choice. And I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of the sunscreen. And give it a good stir, mix it together. Alrighty, now on to the rosehip seed oil. I'm going to use five drops of this. If you have sensitive skin, this is a nice item to try, but do make sure that you test all of these ingredients individually on your skin before you make this, just to see how your skin reacts. Now give it a good stir again. And I would say mix it for about 30 seconds. I'm not gonna make you watch here for 30 seconds, but you get the idea. And now we're ready to pour in the cooled melted shea butter, that one teaspoon. And of course, we're going to give it a good mix I would say again for about 30 seconds, maybe longer, it just depends. Now the shea butter is going to cool down even more and harden to make this even a stiffer concoction. Now here I am putting it under my eyes. I just dot it under my eyes and under the brow bone. You don't have to put it on the lid because creams like this will travel and you don't wanna get it in your eye. That would hurt. So. Just patting it on like this is enough. So that's the daytime eye cream. I label mine. Um, I don't have a label maker, but I just print something out from Word on paper and I put some um, reversible, not reversible, double-sided, <laughs> double-sided tape on this and um, label this thing. Um, I really do like this cream. It's very emollient. Not quite as emollient as the nighttime one, but um, very nice and so much cheaper than buying some kind of daytime eye cream and hardly any of them have sunscreen in them. So this is a nice way to get an emollient cream on and around your eye area with some sunscreen and so much cheaper making it yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.